chemical our principal secretary of finance ravi kota principal secretary shami sinha health commissioner secretary mukti and uh, secretary it nitin khere secretary industry vinod session and uh, another people here from assam kerar kalan chakraborty and uh, managing director and tron and our officials from assam and tiki uh, officials and uh, dignitaries delegates in press media printing media ladies and gentlemen jena it gives me immense pleasure to welcome you to all the road show hyderabad for the maiden advantage assam global investors summit scheduled on 3rd and 4th february in guwahati the event would be inaugurated by honorable prime minister narendra modi ji before we coming hyderabad our honorable chief minister visit delhi on 24th october uh, uh meets the investors and after that uh, my, uh, myself and our industry minister we visit uh, canada uh, new york silicon valley and london 28 october to 9th of november now today we are here in hyderabad bangladesh and myanmar uh, are just 30 minutes fly from Guwahati or Assam, and other maximum two hours by flight reach our all ASEAN countries. It is the first emerging as a next big growth story of India, displaying a robust average GDP growth rate more than 30 percent in the last 10 years. Assam. has attracted investors of more than um, 1 billion of us dollars in the last one year also we are the first state in the country to have officially adopted sustainable development goals gds in governance and administrative framework we have a very stable political environment in the state and it, uh, in the state of assam uh, we have we have the same government in center and the state also and the top leadership of our state our chief minister uh, sarvanand sonwal heartily committed to tax the state on the part of inclusive growth besides assam is the largest tea producing region of the world over uh, with over uh, 1000 tea gardens and over 600 people employed 600000 people uh, people employed in this industry tea indeed is a flag bearer of industrial legacy of assam assam has a large hydrocarbon reserve not only large we, we, the first uh, uh, because uh, and uh, is a very rich petroleum and natural gas uh, with over 1.3 billion tons of crude oil 156 billion cubic metric tons of natural gas reserves 
Assam is one of the largest onshore producer of petroleum and natural gas in India. We have the Asia's first and world's oldest operating oil refinery, oil refinery and operating oil fields in Digboy. Uh, with crude oil refining capacity of 7.6 MTPA, Assam is set uh, to become a refining hub of the region. Tea and uh, petroleum and natural gas sectors representative of the fact that Assam has been an ideal place of the investment since 19th century. Assam also has a large quantity of low-watch coal resources, limestone, quartz, fairfars, and uh, uh, dolomite, dolomite deposits. Uh, Assam offers uninterpreted supply of powers for industrial activity. Uh, we also have a potential of generating uh, 14,000 megawatt of solar of power, immense hydropower potential. My administration has taken aggressive step to harness the solar potential of the state. Assam and the people of state maintain the highest tradition of trust and discipline resulting in a peaceful labor environment. The state has high worker participation, uh, participation rate in uh, distinguish itself on a having one of the lowest losses in terms of mandates uh, attribute to labor problems in the country. The cost of labor is, in my state, is one of the lowest in the country. The government of Assam has committed to uh, work towards progressive infrastructure and, and industrial development to creating better opportunities for these people. The state government has brought our several policies for comprehensive development of this sector of undertaking significant inhibits such as creation of land bank, uh, augmentation of the of, of power infrastructure, improvement of the infrastructure facilities, etc., for facilitating the invest investments in the states. Our state offers large number of incentive under the industrial policy 2014 most investment of the state. To top up the Northeast Industrial Investment Promotion Policy uh, 2018 will be approved by the center very soon. And Assam Bureau of Investment Promotion headed by Honorable Chief Minister offering single point access of the investors. Our state offers a variety of choice to the visitors uh, like uh, adventures, wildlife, ecotourism, heritage, spiritual monuments, uh, luxury of river cruises, uh, tea tourism, and uh, golf tourism, hospitality and wellness among this other and they identified as a spiritual trust. The state also the well deferred po policies of tourism sector. Uh, the Assam State Tourism Development Corporation, ATDC, have been set up uh, to give inputs of the growth of tourism at the state uh, implement in, uh, initiative for all of our socio-economic development. Our cabinet, headed by our Honorable Chief Minister Sarvananda Sonwal, has already approved several policies with lucrative uh, for several of the 
focus sector uh, apart from tourism policy of Assam. The newly approved policies, the Assam Startup Policy 2017, Information Technology Policy, uh, I think he, uh, already Secretary IT ex uh, explained these things, and uh, handloom policy, and sugar policy, and uh, biotech policy, 2017. It uh, is expected to boast to the existing entities and they attract more new industries in the state. Over uh, 5,300 kilometers of land borders with the growing uh, customer makers, uh, customer markets like Bangladesh, Bhutan, Myanmar, and China is accessible through Assam. We are uh, covered largest international boundary uh, uh, in our state. It is the big advantage for us of uh, Asian countries. Then uh, our geographic location and strong connectivity network makes us the ideal steering point of doing business and the ASEAN and BBN, BBN countries. Assam has over 4,000 crosses the land bank for allotment the industries. We have offered a plethora of industrial infrastructure in the state, three industrial growth centers, uh, the numbers of industrial infrastructure development centers across the state, export promotion industrial park near Gohati, border trading centers along with the Bhutan and Bangladesh border. Assam also developed the develop, uh, dedicated drug and uh, play infrastructure like uh, food park at Soigao in Kamrup district, North East Mega Food Park in Nalwari district, uh, Software Technology Park, Gohati, Silshar, and uh, it is proposed. Uh, Biotech Park at Gohati, Plastic Park at in Upper Assam, Tinchukia, Bamboo Technology Park in Kamrup district, and multi sector industrial parks in various locations of the state. Uh, our cabinet has already approved of creation of industrial zone, uh, 180 square kilometer, 180 square kilometer uh, in our state. And uh, then the Assam has vibrant talent pool and educational ecosystem. Uh, the state plays the host of diverse range of uh, premier institute of national report such as uh, IIT, Gohati, Triple IT, Gohati, uh, etc. With a host of in, in universities, engineering colleges, and management colleges medical colleges and the state ensure the steady supply of the skilled human capital of for the industries. Moreover, Assam aims uh, at uh, skilling more than one million yacht uh, in the next five years. All India Institute of Medical Science is coming uh, of along with Tata Cancer Institute uh, and uh, medical tourism hub, not just uh, of Northeast, but uh, the neighboring countries like Bhutan, Bangladesh, and Myanmar also. Plethora of investment opportunities throughout the value chains across industries, industry. Uh, varieties uh, spanning the boat, manufacturing, 
and service sectors. India's uh, looks east policy earlier has now apply become act east policy, focusing to establish east strategic footprints of Southeast Asia. The historic cooperation and exchange with the ASEAN countries established uh, centuries ago uh, is now being renewed to the foster new avenues of growth and trade. Assam has been placed uh, as the focal point, of, uh, focal point for this. Our government has already opened Department of Active Policy Affairs uh, to give special emphasis of the economic ties of the ASEAN countries. I thank you uh, all of your valuable time and effort to be here with us today. I look forward to a friendship that we held in and uh, opportunities for growth not only for Assam and Northeast, but also for Andhra, uh, Telangana and Andhra Pradesh. Our goal is not just to trade in markets opportunities for the wealthy. I believe our technological innovation would be help uh, to societies where uh, no one left behind. Uh, and uh, we had um, talks on G to G, government to government. We had talks to government to business, G to B. And talks uh, B to B, business to business. Now, we talks here, heart to heart, H to H, not G to G, not only G to G, not only G to B, not only B to B, now we talk with you, heart to heart, H to H. Then, I hope uh, that is uh, it will be beneficial for all. Uh, uh, all means you, uh, we are from Assam and you all. And uh, in view of that, I would conclude uh, by saying that you would be in the advantage position to come and heart to heart dealing dealing with trade culture commerce so and so forth the assam offers you advantage i think uh, that the this is a scope of cooperation and the long term investment uh, it is advantage assam uh, we are now advantage in the gateway of India in the ASEAN countries. Thank you.